Hi, it's Fisha from Soulmate. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I make this knot front dress, please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time I upload new videos, you get notified. You will need your no dad bodies block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and a link above as well. So first starting with the back, press around your block as usual making sure to mark all your notches. Lift your block, square in your underarm line and your waistline. Now lengthen your dress to your desired length. I'm adding 45 centimeters from the hip line. Square line down and square line across. Now square another line down the hip line. Now I'm adding my hem allowance 2 centimeters. Now at the shoulder tip, we're going to move in by 3 centimeters. Then coming to the underarm point, we're going up 0 0.5 centimeters and in 0 0.5 centimeters to adjust for the sleeveless armhole. And we're coming in 1.5 centimeters at the hemline to make a pencil line silhouette. Coming to the waistline, we're going to shape it by 1.5 centimeters in because I don't want to put a seam line at the center back. So just inputting all those changes now. That's coming in 3 centimeters at shoulder tip, up 0 0.5 centimeters and in 0 0.5 centimeters at the underarm point coming in 1.5 centimeters at the waistline and connecting it back to the raised underarm point now marking in 1.5 centimeters at the hemline connecting it back to the hip line there now with a curved ruler just connect the new armhole like i'm doing here and blend in the new hip curve using the curve ruler like I'm doing here. Smoothening everything out nicely. So these parts here are not going to be included in our pattern anymore. At the center back, we're going to lower it down by two centimeters, square a little line across. Connect it back to the next shoulder junction with a curved ruler and this part is out of our pattern as well so we're gonna go down 10 centimeters and out 7 centimeters to form our facing for the back square line down at the shoulder and square another line across at the center back here like this just lengthening this line a bit further and connecting these two points with a nice curve to form the back facing. Now get a spare pattern paper and put it under your pattern. We're going to be tracing out this whole section using a tracing wheel. Like I'm doing here. Remove your pattern. Just labeling the center back there and cutting around following through the tracing wheel marks that are on the paper there. So the center back is going to be on fold and labeling the pattern back facing, cut one on fold and I put my initial. And the green line is going to be parallel to the center back. Now our facing piece is finished and we're going to bring back our pattern, adding notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern, back dress, cut one on fold and I put my initial. So the center back is going to be on fold. I'm adding the grain line parallel to the center back. Next fold back along the hemline like I'm doing here and cut around the pattern.
and the back pattern is finished now we're moving on to making the front with the front block press around your block as usual making sure to mark your notches and the bust points lift your block square in your underarm line and your waistline now lengthen your dress to your desired length like we did with the back 45 centimeters square a line down and square another line across and square another line down the hip line as well now adding the hem allowance two centimeters like we did with the back so we're coming in three centimeters again at the shoulder tip going up and in 0 0.5 centimeters at the underarm and coming in 1.5 centimeters for the pencil line silhouette at the hemline now draw a straight line from the waistline to the next shoulder junction like i've done and we're coming in three centimeters at the shoulder tip put a mark going up and in 0 0.5 centimeters at the underarm point square little line and join it back to the side seam like i'm doing here then marking 1.5 centimeters in at the hemline, joining it back to the hip line. So this part is no longer included in our pattern. Now with the calf ruler, joining the new underarm calf, and this part is not included anymore. Next, drawing another straight line connecting the waistline through the bust point to the armhole like this and draw in another straight line to the side seam anywhere along the side seam it doesn't really matter and smoothening the curve here now i'm going to be cutting through all these lines including the waistline seam so this part is not included anymore now fold back along the hemline and cut around your pattern like I'm doing here now we're going to be adding the facing to the center front neckline of our pattern here just get a piece of paper and just tap it onto the pattern like I've just done because we're going to add an extension of seven centimeters wide facing so just marking seven centimeters there from the neckline edge and just connecting a straight line seven centimeters now we're going to fold back along the original neckline and finish off cutting so we can get a proper shaping for our facing there Now we're going to cut through all these lines too, but not through for the other two lines, but we're cutting through the waistline, okay? Leave the other two hanging by the thread. Now starting with the skirt pattern, make sure you've got another pattern paper under your pattern like I'm doing here. Now tape along the first section of your pattern like I'm doing here and spread it out. 15 centimeters make sure everything is lying nice and flat and tape everything down like I'm doing so 15 centimeters this depends with the thickness of your fabric you can go even more than that if you've got thin fabric now I'm adding an extension of one centimeter to allow an extension for the knot now bring in your bodice pattern and we're going to be spreading the line that we just cut through by 15 centimeters as well so just align it to the skirt pattern like I'm doing here so this means the bodice has been spread out as well by 15 centimeters and we're going to tape everything down like I'm doing here now Tap along the waistline seam and the center front as well because we're going to be adding seam allowances to all these points. Now adding a seam allowance one centimeter 
another one to the center front one centimeter one centimeter as well along the waistline seam now we're going to measure up 2.5 centimeters put a notch another 2.5 centimeters from the pointed corner put another notch add the rest of the notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern front dress cut one pair and i put my initial now we're going to be following the grain line of the skirt which is parallel to the center front now cut around your pattern and the front pattern is finished now all our pattern pieces are finished now we're moving on to sewing now moving on to sewing our not front dress what you need are your completed patterns your fabric and your cutting tools so for the fabric i'm using this beautiful stable knit tool fabric let's go on to cutting Now all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew so I'm gonna go ahead and sew mine using an overlocker for most parts because this is a stretch fabric. If you are using a sewing machine make sure to use a zigzag stitch or any straight stitches that you've got on your sewing machine okay. Now also remember to cut yourself some strips of fabrics that are four centimeters wide and that go along the stretch of the fabric. We're going to be using this to finish off our armholes. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on the side for now. So first take your front pieces and we're going to go ahead and overlock them at the edges here for our facing piece. Okay, let's go and do that. And whilst we're there, we're going to take this to the sewing machine, the back piece and the back facing. Lay it on the table with the right side facing up. Then we're getting a back facing piece. Lay it down on top of it. The right side facing. Now we're going to go ahead and pin along the neckline edge. Now take this to the sewing machine and sew along the neckline edge here. I'll be using a 0.5 centimeter seam allowance. After that, I'm going to go ahead and understitch it. Let's go and do that. Okay, so that's done. Our back piece is done. We attached the facing piece to the back neckline and also understitched it. Now I'm gonna put the back piece on the side. Get the front pieces. Lay them on the table with the right sides facing. And we're going to go ahead and pin along the center front section here. Now we'll take this to the overlocker and overlock from the waistline all the way down to the hem. And whilst we're there, we're also going to go ahead and open our pattern like this. And just grab one side of our pattern. So this is the waistline and this is the waistline for the bodies. Waistline for the skirt, waistline for the bodies. Get the bodies and roll it on top of the, of the skirt like this. Making sure to match your seams and just pin along up to the notches that we left there 2.5 centimeters away. So we're going to be sewing from the notch here that's 2.5 centimeters away, this one, 
up to the end of the waistline as well just on one side let's go and do that okay now so we managed to sew the center front seam from the waistline all the way down to the hem and we've also sewn one side on one side of the waist seam and left a little hole here okay so now with the dress right side facing up to go ahead and grab this whole side here from waistline all the way to the shoulder and we're going to push it through the underside of the little hole that we left here okay we push everything in through here let's do that Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this unsewn side again and we're going to lay it on top of the skirt right sides facing like this matching our waistline seam and we're going to pin along now we'll take this to the overlocker and sew along the waistline seam to our notch on this side as well for the 2.5 centimeters now whilst we're there we're also going to go ahead and overlock the bottom edge of our back facing okay let's go and do all that okay now so next lay your front piece on the table with the right side facing up and we're going to grab the back piece and lay it on top of it with the right side facing down Make sure that you stretch out your shoulder seam allowance together with the facing piece, okay? Just lay it down straight like this. And we're going to grab our back piece, match the shoulder seam and the facing seam as well, and pin along both sides. Next, go ahead and match your side seams and pin them along as well, making sure to match your notches. We're gonna take this to the overlocker and sew along the shoulder seams and along the side seams as well. When we finish that, we're going to go ahead and just overlock right around the bottom edge. Let's go and do that. Okay, now, so that's done. We've sewn our shoulder seams and the side seams. And now, we're going to go ahead and secure our front facing here. So what we're going to do is to go to the seam allowance here and we're going to fold back the facing piece and just grab both seam allowances, pin them along, just the seam allowances. Do the same on the other side, just look for the back seam here and we're going to roll the facing back. At the same time, we're going to go on and hold the seam allowances together And we're going to pin them along. So we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along the seam allowances just to put them together, okay? On both sides. Sew along the seam allowance here, okay? Then coming to the waistline here, grab the facing piece again and we're going to go on and grab the waistline seam put them together and pin them along the waistline seam and the facing seam repeat same on the other side So 
So we'll take this to the sewing machine again and just attach the two seam allowances together here, okay? On both sides, attach the two seam allowances together. This will help keep the facing of our dress inside the dress and keep it from rolling out, okay? Let's go and do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and finish off our hem at the same time. So we've overlooked around it already. Now we're going to go on and just fold the hem back two centimeters and give it a top stitching, making sure that you're stretching a bit as you go around. Let's do that. Okay, now so that's done. Now we're going to go ahead and turn off our seam allowances for the shoulder. Okay, all looking good so far. So lastly, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the armholes. I'm gonna use these strips of fabrics like we do with bias binding, okay? And just remember to stretch a little bit as you go along. Let's go and do that. Now the last step is optional. We get a needle and thread and with a blind stitch, you're going to tuck around the knotted area here just to make sure that we keep it in place all the time. And you can also come to the neckline area here. I understand not everyone wants their neckline to be very low. So on a flat surface like this, just decide on how low you want your neckline to be and just turn around to the underside and just give it another tuck in here, inside. Okay, make sure that the stitching doesn't come through to the front here. So that's it. My dress is finished and I'm happy with the result. Thank you.